First Reformed Church, we're looking at the I Am statements of Jesus recorded in the Gospel of John. So far, he has said, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. Before Abraham, I am. I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. And today we're going to hear Jesus uh, re say the words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. This comes from John 14, 1 through 7. So let's read those verses together. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This reassurance offered by Jesus uh, occurs in John's gospel. Right after Jesus predicts one of his disciples will betray him toward death, and another will deny that he even knows him. The time of his crucifixion is coming near. It's coming shortly. But instead of worrying about himself, Jesus looks to his disciples and said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus can see beyond the pain and suffering to the promised glory and wants his disciples to do the same. Jesus tells them that he's going to his father's house to prepare a place for them, and then that he will come take them to be with him that they may be where he is. After he tells them that he will come back and take them, he then tells them, you know the way to the place where I am going. Well, Thomas is the only brave disciple who volunteers to express his confusion on this. He obviously would like to be with Jesus forever in the presence of God the Father, but he doesn't want to miss the directions. Jesus already expects him to know the way, so Thomas asks, I'm not even sure exactly where you're going, Jesus. How, how could I know the way? In response to this, Jesus doesn't pull out a map and start giving directions. He simply says, Thomas, I am the way. He points out that the only way to God the Father is through Jesus. Jesus said to his disciples, you believe in God? Believe also in me. And if you really know me, you will know my Father as well. The truth that leads to eternal life is that Jesus is the Son of God, sent by God the Father to redeem lost sinners. By dying in place of their sins, those who repent and place their faith in Jesus can dwell with God forever through Jesus. There is no other way to the Father except through Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Let's pray. Lord our God, we thank you for looking at us, lost sinners who are unable to save ourselves and have given us your Son, that he might be the way, the truth, and the life, that we might look at who he is and see you, your revealed self as a person, uh, coming to live among us, die in our place and rise again, that we might dwell with you forever. To those who have given faith, we are grateful for your work through Jesus. Lord, I pray that we might not hold uh, our hope secure to anything else but Christ alone, who is the only way to you, the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, we pray that uh, we will not um, grow in despair, that you'll give us strength, that like you comforted the disciples, uh, you will comfort our church as well. 
Uh, Lord, we want to pray for Denny Netten, who's continuing to explore treatments for neuropathy. And we want to pray for Andy Anderson and his family, who's continuing to recover uh, with broken ribs, um, vertebrae, liver. Uh, but for his family, as they recover together, we, we pray for renewed strength trust and comfort. And we pray for all of those in our church family who are struggling, remembering Randy and Rosie and Marv, um, Helene, Lord, for all who have not put their names into the church bulletin, but are going through issues that need prayer, we lift them up to you and ask that they will see strength and hope in Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.